This is Audible. My favorite sound in the whole world. I've read a lot of books in my life, and today I'm going to share with you guys 10 of the books that influenced me the most in my life and my work career. Keep watching. What's up, cat adjusters? So, I personally believe that people should be well read. Read widely, read deeply. So these 10 books are books that I've read and many times I've read them more than once. I'll start with The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. And this book is got to be one of the greatest foundational books for a person's the way they run their personal life and the way they run their their job, the way they interact with people and the way they, they kind of think of the world. Some of the habits include things like honoring the absent, which is basically not gossiping or not saying something behind somebody's back that isn't constructive. And that of course could be pretty subjective, but not allowing, but not saying things behind somebody's back without them being able to, to be there to defend themselves. And it does a lot of things. It builds trust with the people you're talking to, builds trust with the people who aren't there, who may have heard about something later on that you said when they weren't there. You know, another one is sharpening the saw, which is basically honing your skills. I talk about this all the time. Insurance claims are re highly repetitive. Um, but before you ever get deployed, it helps to practice, and that is sharpening the saw. The next book on my list is Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace. It's an outstanding book. I've handed this book out to a lot of people. I've read it several times. Even if you're not in debt or have a lot of debt, because it helps to it helps a person budget their money and have the right mindset about where money should go. And on that same vein, the next book is a book called Profit First by Michael Michal Michalowski by Mike Michalowicz. And essentially this is, it's kind of a business book, but I think it works really well for cat adjusters who have variable income where we make a bunch of money in you know several months and then we don't make anything in, in the other months. That helps to build a budget so that when you, when you are making a lot of money, you can split things off into different categories or different, even different accounts for tax, for expenses, for paying yourself for doing this and for doing that and in that way even though your income is doing this through the year the way you're paying things out is flat through the year it's sort of automating your budget so that it's you don't have freak out moments in the late spring if it's if the storm season gets an early start you're you know you're you're still saving money and you're able to pay all your bills no matter when the storms start the next book really opened my eyes to not only how much work marriages are but how important it is to work on and in your marriage. It's a book by Timothy Keller and it's called The Meaning of Marriage. I think it's a, a really outstanding resource and it, it kind of helped me to get my mind right about what, you know, the contract and the relationship that I was entering in with my wife, what the, you know, the, the big picture of that was and how the small details in that big picture contribute to the whole thing and can help us have a really, really great marriage where we're really good friends and we work together, but it, it requires work and this book kind of outlines how to do that it's a great book the next book is a biography of benjamin franklin by walter isaacson you know there's certainly a large number of biographies of benjamin franklin out there this one's pretty good i got it on almost all these books are on audible for me but benjamin franklin was one of those kind of people who seemed to accomplish so much in his life with the exact same amount of time that that everybody else has he's got 24 hours in a day just like i do he's got 365 days in a year just like i do how did he accomplish so much more than seemingly everybody else? And this book tells his story and it kind of, it doesn't go into details like how Benjamin Franklin did it, but it shows him doing it, what his thoughts were, what his mindset was, and an excellent book. Benjamin Franklin was, I mean, the guy was a freaking genius. Another really great book is a book called Organize Tomorrow Today, and it's by Jason Selk, Tom Bartow, and Matthew Rudy. And this book is an excellent resource for time management, which you guys know that I'm huge on time management. And I think it's critical if you wanna get a lot of things accomplished that you have a systematic, even automated way to put things into your schedule and knock them off your list. And this book is a really, really great step-by-step -step way to do that. Next book is a book called The Obstacle is the Way by uh, an author um, by the name of Ryan Holiday. And it's kind of a primer on stoicism. Kind of the essential of this book is, is that focusing exclusively on things that we can absolutely control in our lives is going to magnify our power, magnify our results. Whereas trying to change or influence things that are only partially in our control or totally out of our control 
are, it's gonna be a total waste of time and energy and will cause a lot of anxiety in our lives because we keep trying to change this thing that's not changeable by us and which causes frustration and anxiety. One of my favorite books, and if, and if you don't pick any other book out of this list aside from The Seven Habits, I picked this one and it's called The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. This book is about prioritizing and, it, and it, in essence, if you go through all the things that you have to do, you pick the one thing that by doing this one thing, it will make all other tasks either easier or irrelevant. So in all of the things that you have to do, there's one thing in those tasks that if you do it first, it makes everything else easier or makes it to where you don't even have to do those other things. And this is an outstanding book. It's like I said, it's one of my favorite books and I highly recommend it. Um, reading through because it goes into great detail on this stuff. It's a really, really great book. This next one is a book called Atomic Habits by an author named James Clear. And kind of the essence of this book is that instead of trying to go from smoking to not smoking or going from, you know, being overweight to trying to be skinny and taking these huge leaps and these taking on these monumental tasks, where at they're, they're extremely difficult to accomplish especially doing things cold turkey or you're completely changing your diet overnight. His idea in this book is to take do 1%. So in other words, if, instead of saying, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds, you know, in the next six months or whatever it is, say, I'm going to eat one serving less of chips and one more serving of fruit every day. So in other words, so you're, so you're nibbling away at the thing and you're building the habit of it and the result is, is that you end up losing 50 pounds, but the, the, the bigger and more important thing is, is that you have now have a habit where you don't eat chips at all, or you don't smoke, or you don't swear, or you're able to control your emotions, you know, when something doesn't go your way. It's a, it's a really cool book. And again, I, just, I actually just listened to that one on Audible, and um, I'm gonna listen to that one again. And finally, there are not a lot of these out there, but claims books. Um, one of them, the most recent one that's come out uh, by Chris Stanley, it's called The Independent Adjuster's Playbook. And this book is a clear roadmap to building a claims career from scratch using the really, really kind of novel method of starting an auto claims, doing photo appraisals only or photo inspections only, and then working your way up from there. And I think that people want to go from, you know, their career here in sales at a car dealership or as a receptionist at a dermatologist's office or delivering pizza or whatever it is. They wanna go from that straight into going into catastrophe property claims. And that's a, a huge leap for a number of reasons, um, not the least of which that you have to wait for the weather and you, know, you might be getting your license at the end of the year and then there's not gonna be anything going on until the next spring. So you're gonna be still working at the dermatologist's office and then you have to quit that job. It's better in so many different ways to ramp up into it. Chris Stanley's book is excellent, so go over to iapath.com and check it out. So there you have it. I hope you get a chance to check out some of these books. These books and so many more have changed my life in, in, in a lot of meaningful ways, how I work, how I play, how I interact with people, and I highly recommend everything that's on this list. I'm definitely gonna be doing more videos like this to share, because I love, I mean, I read so much. So don't forget to check out Adjuster TV on Facebook, and don't forget to like and share this video. And for more content on the world of catastrophe, property, independent claims, insurance, adjusting, subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, cat adjusters? Um, as we go on in the future, and I'm, I'm really excited about that.